This is a secret ingredient, guys. So currently I'm like on a lunch break right now, like lunch break. I got pibimbap and a whole tub of kimchi. I'm about to put y'all on on the best homemade breakfast sandwich you have ever eaten in your whole life. Get your cheese. I love a little sharp cheddar, bacon, whole wheat, English muffins for the fiber, eggs, butter, and your bread. Your gut. I have been making this for the last two weeks, like kind of on and off, but I am. In love. Also, you save so much money because like stuff like this, you go out in New York and it's like 10 bucks. But get your toaster and I'm gonna, oh my God. Usually my toaster is like right here where the tripod is, but I'm using the tripod right here. So let's see how this works. What if I scoot this back a little bit? Yeah, um, okay. is this still good? <sighs> I'm so hungry. Actually, I am not going to use these. I have more eggs. Perfect. You need two eggs. I like it a little bit thick, you know, the sandwich. Oh, wait, one more thing. This is a secret ingredient, guys. Chipotle mayonnaise. Chipotle mayonnaise. Okay, so while the muffin is toasting, you're going to get a bowl. Crack two eggs I wish I had two cameras you know like one here and one over here so you can like see what's going on but I told myself that I'm not gonna get any new equipments for anything because I just gotta work with what I have and learn to be consistent before I just buy a bunch of shit you know what I mean okay so we're gonna beat this and add salt and water just a little bit not a lot of salt because we're adding bacon and cheese like that's a lot of sodium there i'm gonna get a little bit of salt i'm almost done with this i just get like like this much and i like a little pan for this a part of me wants to like redo this whole apartment or i just want to move out and like redo a whole thing because um i actually didn't fully furnish this place this place came furnished which i'm so grateful for but it doesn't feel like it's completely mine, you know? So, manifesting it for next year. In 2024, maybe I'll find a new neighborhood. Or maybe even even within Williamsburg, I'll find something, you know? What I like to do with the eggs, I like to, like, do that. Like, I don't want to scramble. I just want to, like, let it sift. Is that what it is? I don't really know the cooking terms. And later, you, you kind of want to make like a little form, some kind of like circular form that it'll fit into the muffin. Can y'all see this? So currently, I'm like on a lunch break right now, like lunch break. I've had some couple meetings in the morning and after my morning meetings, I usually have like an hour or two breaks. So I'll make like brunch, like a bigger breakfast lunch type of vibe. I have gone through phases when I wake up super early in the morning and you know I get my workout done and like long long morning routine and I just can't do that anymore. My new routine has been going to my Pilates class after work at like 6 p.m. That's my class and I love it but anyway I'm gonna quickly go into my bacon. Touching meat is like such a weird thing for me like salmon and stuff, fish stuff, it's fine. Like sure, I'll touch it any day. Like I eat raw salmon, you know, like sushi. I eat raw crabs, raw marinated crabs. Oh my gosh, I'm running out of battery. Are you serious right now? Okay, one thing I will get though is another battery thing. So I can like replace it and charge this while the full one is in. Anyway, I like to cut this actually in half. What was I saying? Oh yeah, morning routine, yeah. Um, now I just like to do my little journaling, drink tea, wake up, like make my bed, and that's it. 
Like, I like to have a very slow morning. I realize that I'm not like the biggest morning person as I like to be. And I thought I was something that I was not. Well, things are ready. This is very, very important. You're gonna use a Chipotle mayonnaise, both sides. Now it's looking more like this. You put your little pretty egg, fluffy egg, and she is thick. So what I like to do is like kind of fold it a little bit, add your cheese. Oh shit. I also like to grab a little paper towel and put the bacon bits on top of it and kind of absorb the oil before I put it into my food. Every time I do this, I think of that sound from a while ago. Like, my name is Bella Hadid. So <laughs> my name, my name is Bella Hadid. This looks If it looks good, it, it is good. I quickly got ready, threw on a jacket, and I'm gonna go to a cafe because today is one of those days where I genuinely just can't focus at all. But before I go, this is the outfit. Okay, let's let's backtrack a little bit. This is from Princess Polly. These jeans, I love flared jeans. That's all I wear. These are from Motel Rocks. This I thrifted somewhere in Greenwich Village. This I also thrifted somewhere in Greenwich Village. Crystals. This I also thrifted somewhere in, not in Greenwich Village, but Williamsburg. This actually got years ago in Brandy Melville. Just gonna put my AirPods in. I still don't have Air Maxes, and I like low key really want one, but. I don't know if it's worth it. Like 500 bucks, bro. For real, I'm just trying to listen to music. Okay, let's go. freezing out oh. you girl is ready to go to the gym all right um unfortunately our pilates instructors are all gone now for thanksgiving so there's no pilates class I was actually looking forward to it like all day until literally 10 minutes ago I just found out that we don't have any Pilates class this week so yeah gotta do my weights your little gym girly type vibe so what's in my gym bag let's let's do that I have these that I got from Amazon in 2020 COVID era deodorant I use this Old Spice one. This is men's, but it smells good and it just works really well. I've been using this since like college, high school. Elf lip gloss. This is like an everyday lip gloss. So good. I bring it everywhere with me. And keys. AirPod, wallet, keys, and that's it. I'm gonna go. Why the hell is it 40 degrees right now? I'm so cold.
to the gym. Y'all, this looks so good. I got pipimpap and a whole tub of kimchi because their kimchi is so freaking good. It's like, it does not compare to the store-bought ones, so got that more kimchi and the gochujang sauce for the bibimbap what <laughs> what did you got okay i got bibimbap and i saw on their website that they sell their kimchi and i freaking love their kimchi oh wow yeah so i asked them and then i got this for 20 dollars that's a pretty good deal right, right. Like homemade kimchi. right? Wait. and i met the woman who was making the kimchi wait really? i know yeah it was like a korean woman and she was like she would came out and then the okay let's get back to the kimchi bro can i like it's so good this is actually one of the best kimchi i've ever had Mmm. It's so fresh, dude. I tried calling my parents because usually I call them Sunday nights, but we didn't call each other yesterday. I had some plans that night and it was too late once I got back home, but they didn't pick up. I think it's because they're hiking. It is 7.42 right now, which means it's 4.42. That's like prime hiking hour <laughs> i genuinely need more friends who like korean food in new york because korean food heals me like i have to have it every once in a while and this is that time right now sponsoring mm. today's video more on that in a bit but for now i want to cook breakfast then with the whisk beat them i'm going to just add these zucchini coins and that, my <clears throat> friends, is my zucchini for a little bit of Am I an iPad kid? I love it. <laughs> hey, Dad. Hi, Mom. Hi, Cheap. Ah, uh, uh, chicken? Uh, you ate it? Yes, I ate it. finish books at all but now i'm out here in my free time like fully annotating <laughs> but yeah, i've been really enjoying that and my current read is the picture of dorian gray i started this last week and i'm like halfway through it's so interesting and lord henry is so annoying like he's so annoying Sometimes I'll write something that's like really not profound, but you know like reflectional But sometimes I'll say stuff like he's fucking crazy or he's psycho because he is This is a life of a 24 year old Okay yep. Good night